Hi guys, this is Miss Cry from Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. We're going to be talking about a pretty depressing issue. It's extinction and endangered species. Extinction is a species that no longer has any living members. Here, I'm going to show you a list of five species that were listed as extinct in 2019. So this is a Sumatrian rhino, Chinese paddlefish, Yangtze giant softshell turtle, Indian cheetah, and the Spix macaw. So those animals you will never get to see again. The next word is endangered, highly at risk of becoming extinct. So if something doesn't change, these animals will be extinct. A mer leopard, sea turtles, there's actually seven different species of sea turtles, tigers, orangutans, Sumatrian elephants, and gorillas. So those were just a few but as of last year, there's actually about 120,000 species that are on the endangered species list. So a few of the reasons why this happens is because habitat destruction. So when animals can no longer live in an area they can call home, that they've lived their, their entire lives. So they don't have access to the things they need to survive because of deforestation, filling in wetlands, or harvesting fossil fuels. So when you harvest fossil fuels, you're going into the forest with these huge machines and you're digging really deep down into the earth to get usable energy known as coal. And it's just taking over all the lands of these animals. Hunting and poaching is killing animals illegally. So common animals that get poached are rhinos, tigers, and elephants. A lot of times elephants and rhinos will only get poached so that the people can take their horns, their tusks, and they leave the rest of the animal to die. Pollution is another reason when chemicals are put into the environment and it, this causes a bad reaction. Dinosaurs are the first known species that became extinct. Dinosaurs have lived over 200 million years ago, long before people. Today there are no dinosaurs left. We study their fossils to learn more about them. So fossils are the remains of the animals and it's in the form of bones. Many scientists believe that the dinosaurs became extinct after a meteorite or a giant rock that's going so fast, there's probably fire behind it, crashed into our planet and caused big changes. Other people believe the dinosaurs died off gradually as a result of a, a variety of diseases and when animals invaded and ate dinosaur eggs. Dodo birds. They used to live on an island off of the African continent and it was close to Madagascar. You can see this picture. It's kind of tiny. It's this circle of dotted red lines over on the right part of the map. That's where they used to live. In the 1600s, people landed on the island and began to hunt the dodos. This is about 400 years ago. These people also brought cats, rats, and other predators that led to habitat loss and the dodo nests were destroyed. So ultimately, they became extinct. The Western Black Rhino. This became extinct in 2011. In the 1900s, there were about 1 million black rhinos. Widespread hunting began taking over and rhino populations began to decline. Rhino habitats were also being lost because people were using their homeland as farming fields and to settle down. Farmers only saw large herbivores like rhinos, remember herbivores only eat plants, as pests and dangers to their crops so they continued to kill them. In 2001 was the last time anyone had seen a western black rhino. In 10 years, with no sightings of any western black rhinos, it was declared extinct in 2011. So animals aren't the only thing that can be endangered and extinct. Plants can do this as well. So chemicals called pesticides are being sprayed on weeds and crops to push away any unwanted bugs, but a lot of times it destroys the plants as well. 
So the green pitcher plant is an endangered carnivorous plant. Carnivorous is a meat-eating plant found in eastern U.S. It mostly grows in wetlands and marshes, but many are being destroyed to make room for buildings. So this is what the green pitcher plant looks like. The raffalasia is a rare rainforest plant that grows the largest flower in the world, but it also smells like a dead animal. And this plant is almost endangered near extinction because of habitat loss. Living things depend on each other to survive. So it's really important if we lose one species, we're affecting a lot of other species. Let's take a look at this food chain, for example. We have grass, a grasshopper, a frog, a snake, and an eagle. So if we lose the grass, the grasshopper has no food. And if we have no grasshoppers, the frog is gonna have a hard time finding food and so on. So if there's no frogs, there will be no snakes. If there's no snakes, there will be no eagles because eagles are looking for snakes to eat. So every species affects another. We could use humans as an example too. Believe it or not, we rely so, met, so much on bees that we would have a very hard time finding food if they were gone. Bees also help some birds find food. So if bees are gone, the birds that rely on the bees are going to have a very hard time finding food as well. So these are just pictures of foods that we would not have if bees were to go extinct. We would definitely not have honey because bees produce honey. We wouldn't have any chocolate because cocoa plants would not be able to thrive. We wouldn't have a lot of fruits like apples, um, onions, or pumpkins. Bees are not extinct, of course, but they are threatened by climate change and pesticides that a lot of people put on their plants. Pesticides not only pollute the environment, but once it rains, those chemicals will run off the plants and into the water supply like rivers and streams. This means it can harm the fish and everything below the food chain. And if fish are ingesting all of these pollutions, then it will go inside of our body as well if we're eating those fish that are harmed. So around the world, people are working together to protect endangered animals. Some governments have created reserves and set aside land that cannot be developed in order to provide a safe habitat and prevent species from going extinct. Some specifically trained people harvest seeds from rare plants to grow them and then plant them back into the wild. Many countries have laws that protect endangered species. So here's some easy ways we can help. You can help protect the environment by conserving water and resources. You can write letters with your parents to government leaders to make your voice heard, and you can even adopt an endangered species by raising money and awareness to save them. So this is a really good idea. I've actually collected letters before where kids write letters to government leaders about this. So this one is saying your name, the school you go to, and you're writing because you learn about the Endangered Species Act and how critical it is and important that these animals stay on land and thrive. And you're, you would be able to write your favorite animal as well, so you guys can take this template and maybe even write a letter yourselves. While Earth Day is recognized on April 22nd, we must treat every day as Earth Day. Clean up litter when you can, use reusable containers instead of plastic, and use less water when you can. So a reusable water bottle is a really easy way to do this. Um, you can use a water fountain instead of buying plastic bottles all the time, maybe consuming less soda all the time.